Hello and welcome to Excel-Dashboard-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to share a real quick tip that I'd learned when trying to help another user. I had not known this before, so I was shocked, so I thought I would share more information with all of the users out there. All right, so a lot of users may set up their worksheets in such a way that they have multiple tabs like December, November, October, all the way through January, maybe do a workbook a year and then have a summation for all of those. I don't really recommend you set up your data this way. I'd say set it up in a table, create pivot tables off of that data. Um, so you just have one tab of all of your data, maybe extra ones with pivot tables. You can create these different ones with pivot tables or lookups or things like that. And uh, so it may not be best to set up your data this way. Now, that being said, if you have set up your data on multiple tabs and you want to sum across tabs, there's a very simple formula that you can use. And it's really cool. And let me show you a little bit of the nuances with it. It says equals sum and you've got December a colon, January, an exclamation point, and the cell, A40. Now what that is doing is that is summing between the leftmost tab of December, and it's gonna sum all the way through the rightmost tab of January and grab all of the cells and sum them up from, uh, from A40 between those two. Now what that means is if you go and add another worksheet in here, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the data. So you see we've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then in April we have 250 in sales, 600 in G March, 500 in February, 600 in January. Um, and uh, if what you want to do is, let's say you end up um, adding a whole new worksheet tab, and you go down to cell A40 and you type in, let's say, 999 or 9,999. If I go back to my year to date tab, notice it has not changed because sheet two is outside of the range. Now, if I grab sheet two and I move it in between December and January as my tabs because of the range that I've set here, you notice it is now including that in there. Now, let's say I go ahead and modify um, this uh, to say um, B. Instead of December, maybe we just want it through June. And so I've modified it to be just through June. We're back to 1950 because sheet two is outside of June to January. So you can do it with any range in your Excel worksheet in those different tabs. And as it doesn't matter how you move them. It doesn't have to be January. Um, uh, you can move December back in here. Uh, it doesn't have to be in any specific order. It's just whatever your formula is going to be. It's the leftmost one to the rightmost one that you want to, um, you know, that range of tabs wherever they are. So it's going to say, I'm going to find December tab and I'm going to find January tab and any tabs in between or worksheets in between. I'm going to sum those values. So real quick, easy formula to write equals sum left parentheses. We're going to do December. And then we're going to do, oops, um, we're going to do DEC, the colon, January, the exclamation point, the cell reference range, and end your parentheses. Now, I'm getting a different value here because I've moved December all the way over to the right. And so that is taking out, notice April is not in that range. So December, May, March, February, and January are being summed in that formula that I just created. And if I want to grab December and move it around April and now include those sales, Notice I've got that total being changed. So now there are some caveats with formulas like this across worksheet tabs. And uh, head on over to the blog and look up some across Excel worksheet tabs and uh, take a look for that question to see if you can solve it um, as well. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Head on over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Also, please subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next video delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.